Hello all those on YouTube. This is Cosimat once again, and I'm playing a rather interesting game on the Super Nintendo called Evo Search for Eden. Watch out, we got some plot here. Um, yeah, essentially this game is, if you didn't know, about evolution. Um, so yeah, it's a game that would really piss off those, um, I believe that creationism is wrong and stuff, but yeah, I don't think this has got anything to do with uh, creationism or anything, it just tells you about evolution. And yeah, basically your goal is to survive and grow to the point of actually becoming a decent creature. You start off as a fish, and yeah, you basically not want things to get your points up and then you evolve. What? We have a new newcomer? Welcome to the world. Survive, newcomer. Yeah. I can't be bothered, like, drawing a voice with all this. If I actually do, like, went through all this slow, I'd actually do voices, but... Hmm. Check your leg. Let me eat it! That was good meat. Oh. There's actually a, um... Pretty hilarious fight animation that the jellyfish fish do. There it was. It's like, mm -mm, you don't bite me. So yeah, and I'm just like, oh no no, no. I'm gonna eat you. No. Oh no. Yeah, but basically, yeah, you got two attacks. You got like one to bite and then one to just like swallow. Um. I played this a couple of years ago actually and I loved it, so I decided to get through that. Yeah, that was first stage. There's a couple of stages per level. Oh um, you know. Do about twenty minutes or so on this. Like I'm actually time uh, timing myself. Um and yes, this will become a series. When it become a series? James Mason, what are you doing here? I don't know, I heard you were talking about a new series and I thought I'd come along and join you. Well, have you got anything to put into this? I don't know. Either it I just come on and I'd live a bit. I know you've been out at work for a bit, James, but come on. I, I'm sorry, I just... But do you mind if I just stay for a while and watch you play games? Oh, I guess so. Them worms are quite naughty, aren't they? Indeed they are. They got quite a nasty de demeanor. See that? Like, look at that hook. It's like, yeah! I'm gonna punch you with my tail. Yes, they're quite pesky, aren't they? Indeed. But I got a decent amount of points up. But yeah. I'm pretty sure that this game also is one of them things where lives are inconsequential. Like, you got continue, like, infinite continues as long as you arm. Um, wait. Something in your body speaks. How are you progressing? Don't worry, I'll help you with the evolve. You may call me Crystal. I'll give you advice on evolving your creature. And blah 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 blah. Basically, yeah, it's just telling you about how to evolve your creature and all that stuff. So these are essentially tutorial levels. Indeed, they are. But yes, um, now I'm gonna go back. But I should probably check out. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, you got different abilities with each of your body parts and stuff, so it's pretty interesting. Yeah. So what are you doing here exactly, James? You know, besides watching me play. No, I'm just hanging out. You know the usual thing. I'm actually trying to find some new acting careers. Well, good luck with you, man. I hope you get some. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, sorry about that, I got a phone call. Alright, take the outside at least. Okay. Alright, that should keep them a bit busy. Alright, so basically I'm doing my first evolution, and I grew myself a tail. I think. No, I grew myself a mouth. Behold the mighty teeth. The power of the mighty canines as it pierces through metal. Ah, I'm just kidding. 
that does sufficiently make my bite stronger. Instead of doing one damage, I do three now. But yeah, this is basically all the game is. But um, yeah, I, I did enjoy this game, so I'm gonna share the journey and magic of evolution with everyone. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty interesting game. It's like I am 60 fathoms underneath the ocean. And I am going to soon evolve into a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> There's that, that sassy click again. It's like, I'm getting, it's like, hi, I'm gonna eat you. Mm -mm. Oh no, you don't! But yeah, um... I have actually no idea what I'm gonna go in terms of evolution on this, because there's a few options that you can go through in this. So this was the evolution game that you'd play before Spore came out in 2000 and super uh, don't exactly know when it came out, but I don't really care. But um, Spore did it, a succession of this pretty well. So um, I would Spore it went ridiculous after a while, it became like about civilizations and stuff. Unlike this where it just keeps things simple, it's about you getting the biggest, nastiest creature. Which isn't bad. Like, I wouldn't mind them doing a HD remake of this, to be honest. But, you know, make it three dimensional and all that sort of thing. Um. What is this? Oh my god! I turned into a stingray. Bluefish evolves into stingray. Truth be told, it does look pretty badass. I just... I wonder if I actually keep this body. I don't know. No, it can't evolve now. There's my stats. Which ain't too good, but... Yeah, we'll get there. I also like whenever you get hit, your eyes like bulge out of your head. It's like... <laughs> but yeah, it's... I do enjoy this game. Like, I may sound a bit bland and monotonous, but I love this little trope on arm. Um, evolution. Like, it does actually get very hard later on, because you find monsters that, or creatures that are... Wait, what? No! Ah, the power of regression sucks. Or should I say, de-evolution. Which actually was apparently one of, um, Mew's powers in Pokemon. But, enough about that. Yeah, where am I? Ocean of Terodos. <laughs> oh god, did you see all their eyes? It's like, huh? Some business! Oh shit, run! Oh man, swim! I think we could take it, I think we could take it. No, run away! Yeah, I think I might go with the original horn. It doesn't do much, like. You can't ram anything with it, but I think it just augments your attack and stuff. It's like, hey, I'm a gitty, I'm a gitty. Lunch. Wait, ooh. More eagle points. Kind of worried about that though. The volcanoes at the bottom. Yeah. If you don't know much about geology, that's how islands actually formed. They um, were caused by sub um, underwater eruptions, and when the lava erupted out of the volcanoes, they became land mass. They built up and built up and built up to the point where it actually penetrated the water's surface, and after a while, the new rock formation became fertile and capable of hosting vegetation and life and yeah that's how the continents formed the and volcanoes actually caused as well by tectonic plates where they shift and if two tectonic plates push against each other and form a fissure it ends up causing the volcano and um, after a while, the plates can resettle, but the volcanoes can stay there. And that's when the volcanoes go dormant. 
but if the plates shift again and it allows magma to go through, the volcano will erupt. So yeah, there's a little bit of geography for you there. Not uh, geology. But yeah. So come on, I've got a bigger fin than you. I should be able to catch up with this stupid porpoise thing. Oh no. Oh! Volcano! Ah, oh, thank god I got out of there. Anyway. Man, I wonder what's taking James so long. So, how was it, James? Well, apparently, I got a new job role. Uh, it's going to be in some new movie which I can't speak much about. But anyway, I was just coming in to say goodbye to you, because so much. It's always good to hang with you. It's good to see you too, man. Yes, anyway, I should go. And, yes. You still coming to the keg on the 16th? I'll be there. Alright, take care, man. Alright, see you, mate. Ah, uh, good man. Oh my god, these things are eating me. So, you've been defeated. I will revive you. Please use this as a button, as if some of your evil points will be deducted from your total. Thank you, and I will stay. In a way, that kind of reminds me of the Borderlands Resurrection, where it's like, Oh, we're taking half of your money. Thank you, and have a nice day. Always remember, Hyperion is here to resurrect you. You're like, you condescending prick! But yeah. Oh well. I'm gonna farm myself some evil. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm gonna get you. Hmm. Oh. Oh. That's good evils. Oh my god. When he gets hit, it has little tear ducts coming out of his eyes, too. That's adorable. Ah. Uh, oh, by the way, you can actually um, eat the anemone things as well. Surprisingly, without getting hurt. It'd be very hard to try and eat it, though, in real life, because, you know, you'd get uh, spikes in your neck and you'd probably choke. And I actually do know what it's like to choke on food. It's not a pleasant experience. Yay, I can evolve now. I think I might invest in a body. Not enough weights. Yeah. Ah yeah. oh well. Have some more points and then I shall evolve into the sexy scaly body. On my search for perfection, because I shall become as perfect as perfect cell. Yes. Funny thing is it about cell, like speaking about cell. I met Damien Clark last year. Freaking awesome man. Um I also met Gary Chalk on the same weekend, which is amazing. But um the sad thing is I didn't have any Dragon Ball Z stuff to get signed, so I just got him to sign my fruits basket because apparently he did a role in that. And yeah, it was rather nice. Um Damien Clark he had a couple more people to talk to and stuff, like sign stuff for, so he was, you know, more in the rush getting things out of the way. But I managed to get talking with the get uh, Gary Chalk for a bit, who loved to talk about his work. If you ever get a chance to meet him, meet him. And um Get him talking about David K, because he'll actually end up doing an act, uh, impression for you. When he did his David K impression, I I lost feeling in my legs. I'm like, oh my god, this is amazing. It's like, the funny thing is, when he went for Beast Wars, it was him and David K. But they went for the opposite role, so David K went for Optimus and Gary Chalk went for Megatron. But when they passed him, they switched the roles around, so they got into the roles that they've got now. And Gary Chalk was actually a bit... He, he was a bit envious of David K because of um, the epic lines that Megatron gets in it. It's like, come on, we've got to wipe out the Maximus. Yes! 
But the funny thing is, they used to be neighbours, so... Pretty interesting bit of trivia for you, though. But yeah. Um... But yeah, spit, get back... Get, to get back onto this. Um... Also, about dinosaur stuff, I... I'll actually tell you a bit sto a funny story. When I was a younger like when I was a young lad, I loved Jurassic Park. I loved it with a passion. Though like I loved like all dinosaur stuff when I was a kid. Funny thing is, is when Jurassic Park came out in theaters, my mum took both my older brother and younger brother with me. And I think that was all I had to do in that place. Um if I'm wrong, then I'll just go go back in there. But, um, yeah, we went to saw Jurassic Park in the theatres, and my mum, she actually took a pillow. So, in case my younger brother was asleep, because at the time he was like three ish or something. And during the infamous T Rex scene where the T Rex strips apart, apart the car, and I got to go back in there. Um,. It turned out that I apparently hid underneath the pillow when the T-Rex was on screen in that scene. Like, it terrified me. My young brother, he didn't care. He was up watching it, completely con attentive to it. You know, this was before, you know, you had PTA and all that stuff going, you can't do that with the kids. You know, I was a, ra I, I, I was a kid born in the 80s. I was raised in the 90s, you know. We're the bloody hardcore motherfuckers. Um, like my older brother, he also had a fear of a certain horror icon. I'm not going to go into detail because I don't want to embarrass him. But um, my mum's solution to the whole thing—you can't really do it now because people would see it as bad parenting or whatever. But in my opinion, it was fucking brilliant. Um, was she sat my brother down and made him watch the first three movies of this horror icon and. My brother loves the franchise now. Like, he's no longer afraid of it. He actually looks at it as a a, com a comedy of all things. Then again, most old co horrors now are a bit more comedic than what they are now. But um, at the same time, I still think that the old horrors have got an edge over the new stuff. Like, the new stuff all tries to make it so realistic that you can tell it's fake. And it's nowhere as disturbing as it used to be compared to watching some of the stuff from the old Nightmare on Elm Street or Jason Voorhees movies or whatever. And granted the stuff nowadays is a bit more funny, but you'd um you'd know it was you'd know it's not real, but at the same time you'd enjoy it because it's just so disturbing. Like there has been no icon other than Freddy Krueger who I know who's actually disguised himself as a woman and tongue tied a person to a bed and then opened up the pit of hell from underneath them. And by the way, that's one of my most freakiest and disturbing kills that I like in his franchise. That and the video game thing from Freddy's Dead. Oh no. Oh, oh god. Talk about a gangbang. Oh my. Oh, I hate them cunts. Yeah, as I said, there's no real game over, so I just continue to continue with this until I finish the game or I, my mind breaks. And unlike the Game Boy Advance recorder, this one's actually a bit more reliable. Like I've, um, this is actually my first Super Nintendo game, by the way. But, um, I'm going to probably do a couple, I'm going to do a bit more as my repertoire grows, and, um, I'll see about fixing the Game Boy Advance recording software. If I can't, then I'll just do SNES and uh, Mega Drive stuff, or well, Seeker stuff. Um, and yeah. Cave of Origin. I think this is... Is this first stage again? No, 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 is it? No, it's not. 
I'm a bit confused in case it was a rehash of the old first stage. I know on the map it said a different area, but okay. Um, but yeah. Anyway, I'm, I've been going for about 20 minutes or so, so if I die again, I'll just uh, stop the video and do a part two. If not, then I'll actually pipe to the end of the stage. But let's see how far I go. Up. Oh, that's so nasty. It did. Yay! Om nom nom. What the? The what? The hell, man? Sorry, you've been defeated. Oh, man. Anyway. I'm going to stop the video here. Next time, I shall go on to part two.